Back on the show, you know who she is. Shinju Eau Claire is coming off another impressive win. She gets the first round submission over Chelsea Legrasse at Risen back on Ryzen, I should say, it, on December 31st. Shinju, how are you? I'm good. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year to you as well. And obviously, you came into 2018 now with a bang. You get another impressive win here. But uh, the most surprising thing I thought was that I saw uh, yesterday on social media, you actually had a torn UCL. I got to know, how close were you to pulling out of the fight? I mean, it wasn't it wasn't on my radar. I had um, doctors telling me I wasn't able to fight, and um, a couple of my coaches were, you know, telling me, you know, it's okay if you want to pull out, but I... New Year's Eve in Japan, there was no way I was pulling out. Right. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, did, did that injury make you want to – was there sort of more of an urgency to end the fight sooner just so you wouldn't have to you know, deal with the injury at all? I mean, there's always an urgency to end the fight as fast as you can. But um, the, the, I think the biggest thing is I didn't want to grapple at all. I didn't want to mess up my arm any further. And I didn't grapple at all for this camp, really. Um, I wasn't able to, I was only able to work on my stand up game and, you know, do whatever I could with my, my left hand. Um, so yeah, I, the, the biggest thing is I didn't want to go to the ground, but the majority of the fight was on the ground. So when, when did you suffer the injury? Uh, it was like the first two weeks into camp. So a month and a half before the fight. Wow. So we, I mean, we did our interview. You were, you, you got a good poker face. You should do, uh, you know, t- take up that. Cause I, I had no idea. You seem all like, you know, high spirits and everything. So that's great. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to, I didn't want to tell anybody before the fight because I didn't want um No, of course, cuz any, anyone finds out, they, I mean, these commissions always want an excuse to, you know, get uh, you know, get someone out of a fight. So, you were smart to, to keep it under wraps cuz obviously the result worked out. Yeah. Mhm. That's excellent. Uh, could that fight have gone any better? I mean, you went out there New Year's Eve, get the submission win over someone that you had, you know, a bit of controversy the last time you guys fought in the amateur ranks. Right. Um I mean, it's it's always kind of a bittersweet feeling when you can't implement your own game plan. Obviously, I wanted to keep the fight standing, and she she had the absolute smartest game plan because I I um I, I was expecting her to shoot or go for a throw or something, but she ended up jumping guard, and, and I wasn't expecting that. And so, um, yeah, it, it was awesome in one sense to be able to kind of beat her at her her game because I know she wanted to take it to the ground, but then it, it also sucked that I wasn't able to. To, to put on the the show that I would have liked to. Right. Yeah, I understand for sure. Um, have you ever had to deal with an injury like that in a fight before? Um. Yeah, I think pretty much every fight except for my first fight, I had gone in with, with something going on. N- nothing as big as the UCL tear, but I, I was used to, you know, having, you know, this, that, or the other thing was, was sore or whatever leading up to the fight. What was the response like on social media after that win? Because everyone, you know, the hardcores, they were up watching that fight, and it was a pretty big card. Yeah, it was. It was good. It was. It was awesome. I think. Um, yeah, it's it's oh, it's almost so overwhelming to get so many messages and stuff all the time. It's 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 all good stuff. It's awesome. I love it. Did you imagine you'd get this much of a following? Uh, you know, because if you look at your Twitter followers, especially your Instagram, at, at the beginning of last year compared to now, it's pretty crazy how much it's gone up. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. I wasn't expecting it. I'm still not used to it. Um, I I don't know. I was, just, I was just telling telling somebody the other day that I'm I want to get two phones so I can keep one for myself and keep one for like the work stuff because it, you know, it's it's hard to kind of separate the two things when my phone's going off every couple of seconds and sometimes I do like to just kind of get away and and be by myself. And, and I'm sure the celebrity thing is kind of hitting you now because uh, you, we were just talking about this off air. Uh, Takanori Gomi actually wanted to take a photo with you, the Japanese legend. Uh, how cool is that? It was insane. I was just like, wait, are you? I looked around. I was like, are you talking to me? Yeah. yeah. And then no. he, the funny thing is he didn't like the first one, so he asked me to retake a second picture. And I was like, what? Interesting. Does he does he speak any English or do he speak to you in Japanese? Japanese, yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, I wasn't sure if he had uh, picked up any English there. Uh, who, I saw you met some other fighters. Who were who were some of the other fighters you got to meet while you were down there? And any sort of ones where you're a little bit starstruck at all? Uh, Vanderlei Silver was out there. Oh, that's that was, right. That was uh, that was crazy. Um, yeah, I got to I got to see some of the other fighters that I had met before, and I always like uh, like seeing them. Mi Yamamoto was out there. I, I love her. Um, you know, Reina, the shoe boxer, she was out there and we shared a dressing room this time. So it was nice to catch up with, you know, Kana Sakura and, and Yachi, who's, who's doing really well. And, uh, Tenshin is just, uh, fucking stud. So it was great seeing all of them. And, uh, how was New Year's Eve in Japan? That must've been pretty crazy. I, cause I imagine you got to go out a little bit after the fight. 
Well, no. So I missed the first fighter bus that went out. So I had to wait for the second one. And the only ones that were left were Hori Gucci and myself. And nobody, we can't leave until you're done with the doping check and you have to be able to pee right after the fight. And Horiguchi couldn't pee, so we were sitting there waiting for him to pee until about two in the morning. So really? We'll okay. Yeah, Interesting. For New Year's. Was that cool getting to talk to him at all? Because he's, you know, he's one of the best flywits in the world. He's just the most, he's the nicest, most humble guy. And, you know, if you hadn't known that he was just this absolute badass in the ring, I mean, you, you, you would have no idea. No idea. Excellent. Um, so what's the status on the injury right now? How, how long, you know, are you planning to rehab this? Or do you, you don't need surgery or anything, do you? Um, I'm, I'm having to decide right now. The surgery would be a six to nine month recovery. And then we could try the physical therapy. It'd be about three months. But the issue with that is if it, there's only about a 50 to 60% chance that I'll rehab itself. And the thing is, if it doesn't work, then I'll have to get the surgery afterwards. So I'm I'm still back and forth between pulling the trigger on the surgery and trying this PT out. Well, the one benefit, I guess, to doing surgery is that, you know, uh, Ryzen doesn't do too many cards a year. So if you wanted to fight for them again, the timing would probably work out with you having the surgery, right? Right. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm leaning, leaning towards right now. Um, yeah, especially with the, with the uh, possibility of re-injury. You know, PT can only get it so strong but the surgery would help you know tighten everything back up so that's kind of what i'm leaning towards right now but six to nine months is, is a long time out no for, for sure especially with all the momentum you you got this past year i mean uh and you know and getting you know the two fights with with ryzen i mean it's uh you know the momentum couldn't be better so i, I understand the struggle there for sure i mean it's it's a, it's yeah. a lot to a lot to take in yeah long term the surgery is a smarter idea but i i don't know how smart i want to be right now because i just want to get back in there right no absolutely uh what did the promotion say to you after this fight in particular because uh it seems like they're really invested in you if anyone follows you on social media you were doing a lot of press um you know is is, is he kind of giving you any feedback on that um they also were kind of pushing to get the surgery because i think we're both committed to each other long term um as a person and myself and so um you know i'm still i'm still 24 so it, it sucks right now to think about six to nine months of being off but um in in the long run i i know i still have a lot of fights left in me and so they'd rather me kind of just go ahead and get it fixed and get it out of the way right and the plan would to be just stay with ryzen because i'm sure you have a lot of interest right now especially from north american promotions uh, yeah, I think right now I'm definitely interested in, in hanging out with Ryzen. Um, I think right now is a really good time to be in with them because they are, you know, up and coming and they're growing and they had a really successful two New Year's cards. So um, right now is a really good time to be with them and kind of develop with them. Could 2017 gone any better for you? I mean, really, it, you, you made the pro debut. You competed twice for Ryzen. Uh, you fought for KOP. You had that impressive win there. I mean, have you had a chance to sort of reflect on the year? I mean, no. I mean, I just landed a couple days ago, so I'm still, I still don't even know what time of the day it is. I'm, I have crazy jet lag, so I don't think everything's really sunk in yet. But I, I couldn't have asked for, for a better year. It's absolutely insane. I'm just so grateful at the opportunities and the experiences yeah and and you moved as well i mean you're back in san francisco so that was another sort of big change and it sounds like that's working out great i saw the photos with gilbert melendez i mean things couldn't seem like they're going really well they're awesome i love being back home that's that's probably the the best thing that's happened this year yeah, and, and the weather, I'm sure, too, is a lot oh, better yeah. in Michigan. So we <laughs> yeah. talked about that last time. Well, uh, Shinju, I really want to thank you for the time. I know you're jet-lagged. I really appreciate you always making no time problem. for me. Um, just just, uh, just remind people where they can uh, get a hold of you on social media. And I'm sure you got some thank yous or shout-outs. So by all means, the floor is yours. Sure. Um, I'm Shinju underscore Eau Claire, both on Twitter and Instagram. And, um, man, I just want to thank Ryzen so much for the multiple opportunities this year and for all the opportunities that are coming in 2018. And uh, I wanted to thank Field of Dreams, Earth Water, and InSpirit for taking care of me for this fight, El Nino Training Center, my boyfriend Brian, who's been training me since my first amateur fight.